so this particular inaugural session would be themed uh, it has been innovation skilling and learning evolving landscape in school and higher education it will also touch upon the pedagogy and experiential learning emerging courses and curriculum digitalization of education national education policy 2020 its implementation and challenges placements modern skills and industry ready skills so uh, to go ahead uh, calling upon the first speaker i would like to call upon dr nagarajan ramurthy director iim amritsar punjab a round of applause for our guests all the way from amritsar and punjab uh, good morning everyone i want to thank the organizers for inviting me for this uh, second annual uh, uh, summit let me just uh, focus on one aspect. I think the future of any country, actually particularly in India, depends on the level of skilled workforce that we have and the innovation that as a country we can make. A couple of days ago, I was reading this article by McKinsey and others that you know this is not the decade of India, but it's the century of India. Um, in 75 years since independence, <coughs> we have come quite a way, but still what I find is that there are disparities of uh, access to education is missing. Why do I say this is that I was just looking at the top 100 uh, institutions in the, as for the latest NIRF ranking. <clears throat> they are sort of lopsided with Delhi and uh, the South occupying most of it. And what's happened to the rest of the country? When I took over as the director of IIM Amritsar, one of the things that I realized was that you know the, we should not simply be uh, only for some elite or select group of people. And uh, reskilling and upskilling of uh, our youth is quite critical for the next several decades. You know, if at all we have to be on the world stage as a forerunner of uh, innovation. So this year we started, for example, a program on um, data science and uh, business analytics. This is for young uh, engineers. This is not uh, for uh, people with experience or even for that matter executive education. So I personally believe that uh, every person should have access to education. Regardless, I mean, of course, like there are varying capabilities, I'm not going to deny that. But access should be there for everyone. And I was impressed to find that, you know, in the government colleges in Telangana, the enrollment has gone up by 60% or as the latest one, maybe more than 70%. I wish to see that, you know, this happens throughout the country, in across all states, uh, even remote areas. Without a skilled workforce, we cannot have innovation. Uh, we cannot have uh, uh, creativity. And I would say that if we are to be in the next 20, 30 years, I think the PM also had mentioned about uh, the next 20 years vision and all that. One of the things that we have to make sure as educators is that we provide the highest quality of education. Um, even the NEP talks about uh, applied aspect and uh, hands-on and experiential and so on and so forth. Having taught in the U.S. for 30 years, I just returned to take up this assignment. One stark uh, contrast which I found was that, um, so there we focus more on applied aspect of it, hmm. rather than just uh, clearing an uh, SSLC or plus two or whatever it is. One exam should not determine a person's future. Okay. So learning education should be a continuous process and uh, the access should not be denied and uh, regardless of the social status. So with that we introduced this program the first year and then next we are going to do it um, every six months. You know a new program will start keep starting. 
So with that, I wish this conference a great success. Of course, my rest of my uh, colleagues uh, on the <coughs> stage would have a different perspective, also share their vision. Uh, let us just uh, focus on one thing that as education leaders, it is our responsibility to ensure that um, we provide the highest quality of education um, to our students uh, and uh, we make India a global hub for education. I would like to see a day where <clears throat> instead of our students going abroad for studies, you know, we ask other students from other countries come to us. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for taking us through the vision, as you said. The kind of skills and the innovation and the kind of management leadership that is uh, needed, and uh, rather than there is also an ecosystem that is needed where the students and the graduates uh, are in India and establish the companies and the industry over here rather than going abroad. Uh, next up is Dr. Nagarajan Ramamurthy, Director, IIM Amritsar, Punjab. <laughs>